Hi guys, welcome back to the Long Dark Classic Dead Man, starting episode 112. We're at Cardo Hydro Dam, Mystery Lake. Uh, just to start in the evening here. Uh, hour left in the fire. Waiting for our water to boil, yes. Okay. Pretty tired. So, yeah, we're on our way back from our adventures uh, at the Skeg, and then at Mystery Lake, camp office. Our fishing adventure, or we didn't actually do much fishing, but <laughs> it was, you know, still an adventure. And, uh, and yeah, we're kind of slowly making our way back to what will be, hopefully, our homestead uh, in Pleasant Valley. With an insane load, you know, uh, 40 coal, 12 kilograms of coal, which, you know, as folks have pointed out, is a bit much. But not by my standards. I mean, I've been known to walk around with 30 plus coal. Um, in other runs, at least. This one, it's a little, it's, okay, it's straight up overkill. I may leave a few of them here just so that there's some in Mystery Lake. Um, maybe drop 10 or something, but ideally, you know, I'd like to get a whole bunch of them back to my Pre Pleasant Valley hide. And the thing is that I, um, I want to save myself the trip to Cinder Hills. Like, I won't feel right if Dead Woman's set up in, uh, Pleasant Valley without 50 coal, you know, kind of thing. So, I don't want to go to, to Cinder Hills. It's a whole horrific journey, although we may end up doing it anyway because... There's a temptation to want to clear out um, Thompson's Crossing, and if you're do clearing out Thompson's Crossing, you know you might as well might as well go to Cinder Hill. So let's we'll see how it rolls. But yeah, we're into the phase of the run, guys, where we're consolidating. We're into the like you know pack rat prepper phase, right? Um, it's a different phase of the adventure, and frankly, I, in most of my runs I kind of got bored long before this point. But for some reason this time, I guess it's because it's Dead Woman, and because the specter of going on later to do other regions with this character. With this much I feel like having a good homestead for her is kind of good, you know? It's kind of important. Let's do, I don't know what I'm doing. Just do one? Yeah. Uh, okay, we can at least drink now. Good. Two liters. Sweet. So the, the big problem, anyway, back to the immediate, which is we're here in the dam. We've got... What's our story on cans? We got one. Oh, yeah. That must have been from fishing. Interesting. Um, that's the one thing that fishing's good for is to give you this, right? And in fact, in this mode, there's no reason to have lantern fuel. It's just in a, it's just like a, a luxury. Uh, if you're playing like my uh, mod soup run where there's no torch pull, which is the one of the best additions, I think, to the game, is to be, not be able to pull torches from fires and have to craft them. All of a sudden, there is a reason to fish. Um, all, the, all of a sudden, fishing exists for a reason. So I love that. I can't wait to get back to a run that's modded with that. Uh, Murph's doing his run with no torch pull. If you haven't seen his fade run, yeah, it's awesome. Is that a dog there? So... No, it's a stump. The old stump wolf ambiguity strikes again. Wow, beautiful guys. Look at that. Wow. So we better get to bed soon. Um, I could let this go. I probably will. Probably won't boil off. We're getting a two to one. I'm gonna do it. Will I regret that? There's a few leaders there. Um, we have to sleep. How much fuel do we have? A few sticks and stuff. Um, I think it's okay. Let's sleep, guys. Let's just go for it. Uh, we'll wake up in the morning and hopefully all that stuff's done. Gotta remember, I think I have some uh, birch saplings curing on the floor here. Oh, you know what I should have done? Shoot. I should have taken a torch and looked around a little bit. Oh well. I meant to do that. We'll have daylight, so it shouldn't be as big an issue, but... Oh, an aurora. Wow. Weird. That was a weird short aurora. I guess that does happen sometimes. It's kind of like a random condition. Sounds blizzard-esque. Um, luckily, it's not going to affect our water. Yeah, let's sleep another four. Let's just get this blizzard over with. Now, oh yeah, so I was tr trying to start saying that the biggest problem we have right now is food. I don't like where we are because of that. Okay, it still sounds bad. Let's put these over here so they're a little more visible. Let's dump a bunch of stuff. Um... Yeah, we're gonna have food problems. I don't think there's any food downstairs. Let's drop. Just lighten our load. Just put us under. And 
let's drop this. Drop this. Okay. Uh, everything else is kind of important. Okay, well, let's drop the extra. You know, for, to be honest, we don't need any of that. Although, sorry, it is a good time passer from time to time. I have that. So, I can't really hang out too much. We need to get food. I was planning on doing the arrow manufacturing here, which I think makes sense, but food is an issue. There's a ton of food back at Pleasant Valley, so if I go back for Pleasant Valley, the food issue is taken care of. I really wish I'd shot that deer yesterday, but we were kind of hurting for energy and everything at the time, and it was, it was a, you know, one of those moments where I wanted to keep moving. Uh, but yeah, I'm regretting it now. Let's see. Let's see what we've got in here. There's no more books or anything. Yeah, I must have stripped this completely. This is, I think, the third dam search probably in this run. Always good to double down on dams or triple down on dam searches. Okay, good. Yeah, it was thorough. I'll peek my head outside. It sounds nasty. Um, and it's going to be too cold to do anything. But we'll get our water. Get our pot back, I guess. Oh. That... That's... Uh, that's not a... Not a maglens. It's actually not that cold. Um, do I have a pot on me? Tell you what. Given what's going on, let's wait a sec. And I think what we're gonna do, we're pretty overweight. I could let's drop some more. I mean, let's drop this. Let's drop. So what I'm thinking of doing is blasting over to. Um, ravine because we're just bound to find a deer drop the cloth oh my gosh the cattails cured guts okay the maple sapling uh, oh that's ruined but we can still use it don't dare put it in a drawer uh, let's get rid of that 35 prep reishis at a oh, 0.75 kilos of reishis guys Oh my gosh. Insane. Totally insane. So that... Oh yeah, and this thing. Drop that. Arrows. 11 arrows. Nice. That's good. Oh, got a lot of stuff, guys. It's crazy. I always like to carry all my matches for whatever reason. Um, okay, we're pretty warm now. I think what we're going to do is... Let's do it. Let's... Um, We're hungry, and it's not going to get any less hungry, so let's go. Go to Ravine. Oh, wind died down. Nope. I can do it. It's still pretty warm though. But no buffs, so we kind of got to hustle. Hey, this way. I don't like it as much. It's not as safe, but. Dog check. No dog. I'm assuming the deer's gone. Yeah, let's go before I get too cold. Thinking about it. Let's go hunting in ravine, guys. We're at least going to find some rabbits. And in all likelihood, we'll get a deer. I've got six rocks. Oh my gosh, guys. That's another thing. I think around Mystery Lake, I was planning on having a rock fest with the, uh, the wolves there, but didn't end up needing to, so I just got the rocks to tell the tale. Okay, let's go. This is getting cold. Bunnies, you pretty much have to be here, right? There's one. Snack. In here. Oh, that was brutal. That's gonna scare the rabbit. Yep. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's in cover. Okay, that's two. So that's a snack. Let's go.
So let's go for the uh, cave, and we're gonna do a little bit of hangout. Let's see what's what. We may end up spinning a match, tragically, but pick up a little extra coal. Is this rock or coal? What is that? Rocks. I must have thrown those, maybe. Okay, I gotta go now. This is not not a later thing. It's a now thing. Got the bedroll. It's good. Uh oh, cattails. No deer? A bit surprising. Oh, there he is. Oh, shoot, I scared him. Okay, I, I don't even think I can hunt him right now. Carcass is still there. I left that for myself. Yeah, I don't know. Better run. There's two of them. Nice. Go warm up and do this properly. Oh. Okay. Let's tear this down. Tear it by hand. We're warming up. Of course, of course we're gonna get weather. Listen to that. It, it always happens. I was asking for it. Because we're waiting, let's just take off. Take one off. Okay, we're just about done, eh? Ah, one more, 10 minutes. Yeah, let's go. We could do the carcass. I mean, I suppose why not? I think I've been saving it because... Oh, there's the deer. Nice. There's a birch there, guys. There's two birch. Nice. Okay, let's at least take ourselves... Couple pieces of this thing. Oh, I think we're gonna get the free fire, guys. Looks free ish. Another deer, if I want to get greedy about it. Um, sort of do, but... Yes, guys. Nothing like a free fire. The best thing ever. Okay. Get some sticks on. Okay, a horse. I've seen a lot because I love horses. Put these on. Okay, one of them is a quickie. That's still too cold. Okay, tell you what, considering we are where we are, I'm gonna do it, guys. There. For those who say I never spend coal, too coal cheap, I hope that's vindicated me here. I did it. 25 and 20. Nice. So the thing is, we're gonna have to drag back a whole bunch of deer to do all this this harvesting not a small amount a huge insane amount so let's get rid of this I need anything right about now should get some water going too I kind of want to take the second deer um, I might as well cook it all too since we're here um, tell you what doesn't hurt to have one queued up right Okay, let's do the nine minutes. Drink a bit of water. 
And this thing's almost done. Three minutes. The warm food mod, too. And my other uh, mod suit playthrough. Yeah, I have the warm food mod. It's so good. You know, it's like... Okay, so... Shoot other deer versus harvest this deer. I think shoot other deer is probably the priority. Let's drop... Um, two liters. Okay. That's good. We do the pelts, but... I think we're maxed out for pelts. I gotta just forget the pelt thing. It's it's getting a bit much. 199, so no, we're good. 34 minutes. I gotta come on, warm me up. Let's do this. Um, five minutes. That's why you've got the whetstone. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't burn. 27, 27. Let's go. My other deer there. See if we can find them quick. Birch, guys. Too much birch. And actually, I wonder if there's more around here. Actually, maybe it's just here that they have it. I spot this guy. Oh, it's warm, guys. Gotta be a little careful how far I go. I'm gonna burn that meat. Got about an hour, I think. Before it burns. So, it'd probably be best to scare him back towards our base. Our cave, that is. Let's see about doing that. What a nice walk, you know? Midday, too. So, it does pay to do all those repairs. Oh. It's gonna be a bit far out to kill him here, but. But, on the other hand, let's take. Okay, it's going to be pushing it. Got to get back. Actually, um, I'm going to be stinking three anyway. Let's just leave it there. That's the stuff we're going to bring back. Oh, we're going to bring as much as we can back. I'm going to get greedy, guys. I'm going to walk with maximum weight and still sprintable. And any dog that confronts me, I'm going to attack on the way in. This type of late game dead woman is not going to be put off by the dogs trying to interfere with her overall game strategy. That's just not happening. Suckered in by a few sticks. Go, let's go. Please don't burn. Don't burn my meat. Oh, fair bit of time, but not that much. I'm going to warm up a bit still. Okay, we're good. Two hours. Um. Yeah, I think this is going to be a long... Co uh. I guess we could get back by the evening, even. Hmm. Right? Well, let's put away one of these. It's, it is a ridiculous amount of food that I'm, I'm working on here. Um, what can I do? I, I guess, you know what, like... Well... We're heating up fast here. This is why I put the coal in. I gotta remember that. There was a reason for that, right? Sort of. And I thought I'd have to heat up a lot. So. I'm not gonna second guess myself. I wanna make. I'm tempted to make that into tea, but you know what? No. I trust it. We can use it. It's 0.1 kilograms. It's just. I have good faith here. Getting a little windy out there, so good. Good. Oh, there it comes. Yeah, good thing I didn't go set up a fire. 27 minutes. Let's go tear a bit off. Still two down. You can't get cover behind this thing, I don't think, but... Cold. Nice. I'm hoping we get another lull in the evening. I'm still going to leave that carcass. Actually, we might actually need feathers. It's warm, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Two minutes. Nice. This is good. Um, fortunately, not much stuff to do, though. Gotta remember to repair that up while I'm in the dam. Uh, am I ever gonna remember that, you know? 
Oh, I forgot to... Ah, those are light. It's all good. Okay. So it's a weight situation. Um... Gee. Do I want to sleep here? I suppose I might as well. And go for the big cabin fever defeat. And then in the morning... Tomorrow, I'll go back. Um, we'll go for the big harvest here. Hopefully we get a late evening kind of... Chill out. Um... It doesn't hurt to, like, max out Ravine. Ravine's such a nice place that you want to kind of have a lot of comfort here. You know, while I'm at it, I might as well... I'll leave these here. I might as well do those, um... Really? Are they they're freezing it in here? I thought they would, um... Thaw back there, but... Who knows? Maybe that's frozen, I guess. Okay, well, let's put them by the fire. Because I could, theoretically, take their hides, too, and just have a few extras at the dam. It never hurts. You leave a few of those for yourself. I am tempted to take the guts, too. If we're going back with three stink, we might as well go with infinite stink and just deal with whatever we encounter head on. We're obviously going to have to torch walk for that. We'll have enough food set up here that if there's a blizzard, you know, all good. Let's get a little bit warmer. Gee, there's no... Okay, well, what I could do is... Um, let's go get that last steak so it's even. Nice, even Steven. It's really not that cold that, you know, you can get in the wind shade. If the wind dies down, it's going to be balmy. I'm trying to think. I think maybe we... I can't remember now if we slept in a... Um, in, the, in the fishing hut. I think we did. So we might be already, like, fairly cabin fever defeated. But, I think the wind just died down, guys. We got the 40 minutes, nice. What am I, is it a micro piece? Oh my gosh, guys, micro pieces are annoying. Set this up, so get rid of it. Forty forty. okay, good. Yeah, the wind died down, guys, blessing. Let's go get the, do the rest of that deer. Go. Wow, guys, look at this. I mean, on the other hand, I could just walk back, but we're going to need a ton of food to do that crafting. I suppose, though, it doesn't get much better than this. Weather-wise, I have a fire going. Let's at least harvest the rest of this deer and see where it takes us. I mean, for cabin fever defeat, it's if we get cabin fever, it's just as easy to come back here. There's a cave in, in uh, Winding River, too, so... Oh, there's a lot. Take it all. Go. A bit colder now. That's a lot of meat, guys. Okay. Go warm up. I think maybe I'm actually kind of changing my mind. Although we're going to be seriously overweight. It's debatable, isn't it? You know what? I think let's just use the fact that we have a fire here. Let's cook all of it. Because that's something we have to do anyway over at the uh, the dam. It's a little insane. See, that put us overweight. What are we at? Oh, no. Yeah, with, when we're fully rested, this will be no big deal to take out. I might as well just spend the time cooking it all. Max out cabin fever defeat. It's been a beautiful night in the ravine. Um, just sit on our food and enjoy ourselves. Harvest at the rabbits, do a stick run, you know, keep busy. Because, yeah, we're going to have to cook all this stuff. And I might as well take it cooked rather than raw. So it'll just be rip and run when we hit the dam. The other thing is we're waiting for... Oh, i got to grab those bird saplings. We're waiting for those to secure anyway. Okay, those look done. Wow. Okay, that's good. Get it going, guys. Massive barbecue here. Um, I think we're pretty good for water. I mean, it's always nice to, nice to leave some water behind, but... Okay. Um, let's toss this on, because we're going to need it. Actually, you know what? Cedar's so nice. This is the thing. Cedar is sort of like... 
it just makes you feel warm and cozy to have some cedar. Let's just toss on our sticks. There we go. That should do it. And we'll warm up a bit. We're going to go for a nice long stroll. Oh, yeah. Birch. Get those things curing. Heck, by the time we're done, the guts might even be cured. No, not likely, but... It's, a, it's, a, it's like a week or something, or three days, but... Anyway, let's get warm. These are long, right? They're... Oh, 20 minutes, not too bad, actually. By hand, 20 minutes. That's good. I'm pretty tired, though. This could be our last big walk, so let's max it out. Um, yeah, I'm better off just waiting here. It's now a pretty hot fire. It's nice and still. Ravine is really a special place, you know? So we're going to do a massive stick run. The deer, two deer harvested. It's a good thing. Uh, a little bit of a... Yeah. A bit unfortunate on the timing there. I'd like to go in with full steaks cooking, but... Let's do a walk to here. I saw some coal, so we'll replenish that one coal I spent. Yeah, I got to use my coal more. I, I've gotten into hoarding mode, you know, like... In this game, ultimately, you know, it really is about carting things from here to there. Like, so, I know a lot of a lot of the time you want to have, like, a kit that's super tight. You know, go with just weapons and ammo. Go with, like, a task-specific kit. But more often than not, like, you, um, your goal is to kind of pool resources in one place. So you're all, sort of inevitably carting things across the map, which is going to encourage you to get close to your limit. And, uh... You know, maybe, maybe, like, if you're in that long-term survival situation, you know, we're, like when we're at Pleasant Valley, we'll be able to do, you know, weapons and ammo runs out for hunting and this and that. But stick runs, that'll be light, you know, where we can have that spray in your step, you know. Um, but yeah, for now, it's kind of... I'm going to do this just because. Oh, it's not that warm. I mean, that's stripped a little bit off me there. Oh, here comes the wind. We've got to go now. That was a unsuccessful stick run. Look at that coming in. Whoa, three down the windshield. It's a wicked wind. Headwind too. Get up against that wall there. Oh, feathers. We may end up needing them, so. So yeah, we took it all. Just some guts and stuff left. The hides, let's not worry about it. I think I do need to do my hide repair, but um, not urgently. And uh, we can wait until we get to Pleasant Valley, I think. We have no hides that are ready to go, so. I don't think. Tons of birch bark, eh? What a tease. A stick run here. So I'm trying to think. We've been to Ravine because we got the flare pistol at some point. Pretty sure. But we haven't been to Bleak. Um, and I don't want to go to Bleak, but... It's just interesting that that's a whole zone that's unexplored, you know? Uh, that was a pretty good stick run in the end. Now it's just a cook-off, guys. Massive cook-off. Oh, those are done. Yeah, let's get them off. I'll rest soon. I'm gonna fight. Don't do that. Yeah, we're gonna have... We're gonna get tired, but we can... We can sleep and, uh... Sleep and cook, too. Let's do one of these. Died down. Pre? Pre bliss? We'll go for one more little walk, I guess. Eight minutes. Uh, we're pretty tired, actually. But anyway, I'll just go for one, one last little jaunt here. All the cooking skill we're not getting for this, you know? Oh, yeah. My, uh, didn't bring my, my buff is. It's cool now, but that's good. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, what a night. Yeah, if only we had a little more energy, I'd walk down yonder. Oh. Heck, let's, let's do a little little walk over here. 
Gotta be careful though, because energy will pretty quickly knock a point off your health. And then the next point will take like three hours, but that first point, it's like, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds after you go red. So I don't want to mess with it, but let's just quickly walk over overweight. Yeah, of course. I could have thrown some sticks on the fire. Although I don't want to be too haphazard with the sticks. We don't need to. We only have a couple pieces of meat left. And then it's a sleep situation. But anyway. I'm a sucker for a stick run. You guys know it. Now, I don't know. Are there birds down there? I don't remember. There are birds down by the climb. What a forest this is. Oh my gosh. I just love the ravine. Everybody loves the ravine, right? It's like a sanctuary. If it had a little shack in it or something, it would be a great retirement spot. It's just that, you know, you don't want to live in a cave. Spooky music kicked in. Evening music. Sunset. If you haven't found out where you're going to sleep by now, you better worry. I know that feeling on canoe trip where you kind of like, sun starts to go down and you misjudge the distances and you're kind of like, you're late. You don't exactly know where you're going to sleep and you're kind of losing light. It feels like this sounds. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's looking good. So what we're going to do is we're going to do sleep and, sleep and cook. I'm going to go like that. It's a sick, insane pile of meat. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna sleep it. Cabin fever. I mean, I don't know how living in a cave defeats cabin fever. You know, it's like doesn't seem like it would to me. But let's do one more. Two hours. Sleep another. Okay, done. Wow. Okay, and we're gonna go for, you know, a little bit more water just for the heck of it. Let's do um, one more, like a liter. Nice little crackling fire there. Oh, I was pushing that one a little close. All right, so that's got us pretty good for water. Let's see. I believe like, well, heck, how much time in the fire? An hour? Let's do that one more time. Okay, all right, go. Because we might as well leave the place somewhat stocked with water. I think I'll leave a couple pieces of meat here just as a courtesy to myself, my future potential self. Oh yeah, I was gonna take that off. Um, okay. Whoa, here it comes. 22 minutes now. The only issue really is that we'll get a mag lens tomorrow, I think. I can pretty much count on it. Let's eat. To be able to live in a place where you don't have to worry about stink at all, you know? It's just... Okay, let's convert this to... Oh, it's crappy. Let's do a good one. That was crappy. That was crappy. That was crappy. Where are all the good torches? There we go. Maybe it's an angle thing. I, they sort of changed that a bit along the way. No, I don't know. Whatever, we got one good one. Let's go to the back of the cave and we'll um, sleep it off. I don't think it'll get too cold. I think we're going to be just fine. Unless my sleeping bag clips to the floor. Seven liters. 
It's a bit much, really. Okay, um, what was I gonna do? I was gonna drop the, uh... Oh no, I dropped the hide already, good. Well, let's sleep then. Sleep for four hours. It was only 13 plus three, so that's a little... odd. Let's see if we get a blizzard here. Might end up getting cold back here. Looks pre-blizz. Eight. Seven. Okay, let's do it in two hour stretches here. Because, yeah, it sounds like a blizz. And it's going to be one of those dawn blizzards, the coldest kind, where it just dips under survival weather in here. Five. Let's do another two. And we're going to be pretty, oh, pretty well rested, so it's going to be like travel at dawn impetus, but there's dawn. Let's get rid of this piece of meat. Ugly weather. Okay, so... Um, how cold is it out here? Super cold, guys. Feels like negative 23 in the front of the cave. Like, what? Feels like negative 22. Air temperature negative 47. You go back here, it feels like plus 6. What is that? 28 degree swing? Why is there a 28 degree swing between these two spots? Interland should never have done that. The cave should be this temperature throughout. Or maybe just slightly warmer, like 2 degrees, 3 degrees warmer than the background. Warm caves have always been a bizarre phenomenon that, you know, it's a built-in exploit almost. They just, I think they thought it would just be too harsh for people if you had to actually survive in caves with real cave temperatures, but... Well, look at this meat. But for those of us that play the game for a bit, we know that it is doable. It's, it's horrific, but... You know, you can run a fire all night. It is doable. Um, yeah, let's break all those junk torches down. Turn them back into sticks. Again, I completely object to torch pull from fire because torches to craft involve gas and uh, cloth, none of which are in your stick-based fire. So it's completely incomprehensible that you should be able to pull a torch from a fire. I could see if it was a burning brand or something, but... The torch pull from fire is one of, is is immersion breaking and it's broken. You know, to disable that, it uh, it really makes the game the way I think it should be. Yeah, let's sleep an hour. Hope we pass some of this nightmare because there's no going out in that. This was the trade off. It was like struggle back to the dam with like, you know, six armfuls of deer meat, or kill a day and I chose the kill a day option so we're dealing with uh oh it's because all the water let's drop some of this water how much water we're gonna walk with like a liter back to the I'm really hoping I left some water for myself with the dam this is pretty bliss so 37 for 45 and we can go up to almost 55 and still sprint so I think we can carry all the meat pretty much I'll leave a couple pieces for myself again but I'll leave the cedar too. It was a good omen. Better to leave it for the next guy. Um, okay, get rid of the 30. Come on, wind. There we go. That's a lull, I think. I'm still going to go out for a little walk just because... Just because... If anything, just to tire us out. Yeah, it's a lull. I don't even think we can break this stick up. I think that's how... Look, I think that's how cold it is right now. It's negative 19. It's chilly. I can't even imagine what that's like. It feels like negative 19 when you're wearing bearskin clothing, you know? It's just very cold. Like, that's the equivalent of walking out outside in the winter in Canada but naked, but you're wearing this clothing. And the reason for that is that the air temperature is negative 44 degrees Celsius, which is insanely cold. Now, I think it's not as cold as what we had in Mod Soup when we were modding it with Relentless Nights and Extreme Temperature Drop. We had it down to like 140 or negative 140 or something. So that was different. Um, plus, interior temperature scaled, so there was no escaping that insanity. The only answer was coal. And that's exactly why I carry coal everywhere, like a maniac. Because it's burned into my mind that to survive a day, you need like 20 coal or something. You have to make like three or four different coal fires as it blows them out. 
Anyway. What I find is that, you know, my rule sets, my, like, heuristic strategies for playing this game, they carry over from one custom game to another, so I end up... Um, yeah, I have crossover. What's the... The bedroll's not in great shape, is it? And it was a really long repair, wasn't it? Oh, no, 76. That's pretty decent, actually. Not tired enough. That's the worst message ever, isn't it? Sleep is a resource, guys. Enjoy it. Starting to feel numb. That's true. Starting to feel bored. Oh, where's that blizzard? Just a sec, guys. Came back. Um, cold still. Let's um, let's pass time for now. I hate doing it, but my hand has been forced. And of course, we're really just hoping for a late day um, lull. Or sorry, late day uh, sun to peek through. Oh, there we go. And unfortunately, because it's midday now. Oh, whoa. What's that all about? Any sun? Looks a bit gray out, overcast, yeah. Still blowing. Oh, let's wander a bit. This again looks pre blizzard. And here I am, bluff calling it. I mean, in a pinch, you could get back to the dam. It's really not that far, but I want to have the leisure to engage the wolf because we're going to get a wolf encounter. When you walk in from three stink, just about guaranteed. And you better have a torch going. You better be ready to um, take a shot at him. I could just do the torch deek, but I don't like the torch deek where you just drop a torch and feign to throw a rock at the thing because, first of all, it's just weird. Like, I don't quite know why the wolf would be intimidated by that unless it was a dog that knew what it was to get hit by a rock but i don't know i just think it's a little out of character for them because they can be so bloodthirsty and you know wolf torpedo at other times that it's weird that that would just always dissuade them the other thing is it just seems a bit cheap the, the final thing is that it doesn't for me at least i found it doesn't always work a hundred percent of the time there's a possibility that when uh you throw the torch at him he stays in the barking state, he doesn't run, and then you're stuck without a fire, you know, you're stuck without a fire, and you've got to deal with the dog, so, I just don't like it, okay, could it clear up, please, it's, oh, yet another lull, it's a warm lull, though, because it's that nice time of day, now, this would be a time to go, I guess, in the lull, uh, but going without a fire. Well, we could just light a fire, light a torch. I'm gonna say let's do it. I don't feel like waiting. I'm not sure we'll I leave two. Go back. I think we're over. We're, we're pretty good for weight. Let's see, forty-seven. We're light. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's leave one one for us because this is such a, a good place that we only need one. Let's go, guys. We can still run. Got the bedroll. Let's go. The other thing that I could do is travel in a blizzard, right? That's the other interesting option is if you if you're bold enough and you get a blizzard, theoretically that should despawn the wolves if you go through a transition. So if it blizzarded now, I could storm out into it, use the cut rock for cover, wind shade, and then you know. Um, you know what would be really cool guys is if the dogs could cross regions. Like imagine that, eh? A dog followed you here from Mystery Lake. I don't quite know why they don't do that. It's 
Seems like that would be a straight, straightforward concept. Okay, you better get this out. And I think I'm just going to preemptively light it. What's that there? Oh, it's just a track. I thought maybe... Here we go, guys. Do or die. Oh, it's pre-blizz for sure. There it is. Wow, the crime. Now can I get there? Oh, guys. Feels like a crime was committed. I wonder if I brought my pot. We have another one here, so it's okay, but... Oh! go guys I think I, did I? I I don't know if I brought my pot or my can let's see I did oh I did oh my gosh I, I had no idea okay well 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 back we are those ones cured nice okay drop these drop these that's always good wow guys okay I'll tell you what let's um late, but we have a lot of energy, unfortunately. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what, while there's a bit of light, what I might do is just go down to the bottom of the dam and check to see what was left in there. Um, this can be the Just to get it nice and light. And what's the water's... Oh, the one thing... Ah, I should have brought more water. Darn, guys. Busted myself. Yeah. Oh, I had space for it, too. Why was I being so cheap? What did I bring? Mm, two liters. Enough to get through tonight, but... Uh, how did I get through all this without... And I must have in the toilets. So we'll check them, but... Okay, before dark, I can probably get downstairs and back. That's, those are done, definitely. Okay, let's quickly run downstairs and it's not quick, but... Oh, one thing. I think I've, I've searched the dam many times, so let's take back our crowbar. Just on principle. Yeah, so yeah, just a bit of time left. Now I might as well run because it's getting darker and don't want to have to sleep down here. Okay, no water here. That's a bit disappointing. I I don't know. I, I don't know if there's any water anywhere. I think I busted myself. It was nice of me to leave some water for myself in a ravine, but I need it here. Unfortunately, I might get myself into a situation where I need another match. And I'm so cheap about matches. I mean, long run... We should be using them because this is the place for them, but... Okay, we're going to go all the way down. Through the giant room here. Let's see what we can find. I did leave, I think, some saplings or something. Let's do the run. Surprised you don't get a sprain. You can't sprain just from running, you know, like that. I feel like that would be dangerous, especially if you're near weight. Just running could sprain you out. Maybe that would be annoying, though. Okay. So there's cardboard, the army boots. I'm on the shelf for somebody. I did all this, right? I think the last time I came through, we actually found some stuff. So I, I did search it again. I find myself searching it yet again. Here we go. What's it going to be? Oh, look. Three maples. There's my rabbit pellet and a cured gut. Well, that was good. Not water, though, but... 
I'll take it. Okay, well, the water situation remains a problem. But anyway, the f water's easy to come by in a way. You know, just need a, a break in the, in the weather. Uh, food's a little bit harder. So we got the food situation checked off. And ultimately, I'd like to leave some of this food at the dam. Because, you know, the dam is a hub and you should have... You should have tons of food here, so. And you know, hunting the wolves out front, it's just dangerous. There's that moose, which should make a great kill, but the wolves that patrol the front of the dam really do create a bit of a screen. And the terrain is so bumpy that it's very likely to get an encounter and get yourself in trouble, so. I've always been scared around that region, that area. I always find it spooky. And, uh, yeah. Oh, well, that was nice. Long daylight here. It felt like, um, I only have two cattails. Did I really leave all my cattails? I didn't take any with me to the ravine. That was bold of me by my normal standards of, um, pack readiness. I normally would put a bunch of them in the bag. So I'm running just again, just to kill stamina here. In a sort of legit way. I would have searched upstairs. Since we have a little light, um, I'm gonna dim. I can't remember, so I'm just gonna quickly peek up. I know I went and did the lockers. I know I did this. But we are trying to kill sprint stamina, so let's just do it again. Yeah, I did all that. Any books? I'm just looking for firewood at this point. What's that? No. These have obviously been done. Yep. There's no, no books that I left. I would have stripped it for books, I think. It's been a long run though, guys. I know I did this like three episodes ago, but... It all blurs together. When you've been playing the long, far, the long Dark for way too long. I have too many hours in this game, you know? I'm pretty maxed out. Alright, so we've got... That was a good find. Like The, the maples were unnecessary, but awesome. There's the birch. Um, okay, tell you what. Let's load up on all our stuff that we're going to need to do our arrows. Because that's what we're in the business of now. We're going to make use of this toolbox. Ooh, we got a 58 hacks. I should repair both of those. Um, I guess I did drop all my cattail stocks for some reason. Why won't it collapse those, you know? That's that's brutal. Um, it's proper blizz. Let's do a little bit of work before the blizz... Makes it too dark to see. I better go get a piece of meat too, because I'm gonna get trapped in here after dark and have to sleep. Won't wanna may have trouble finding my way out to the the meat pile. Dinner. Okay, let's break down those. I mean I guess the birch let the birch can stay. They lose actually they lose a little bit of weight, so if I'm gonna be technical about it. Breaking down arrow shafts is good because they lose weight. Making arrows doesn't actually save any weight. Turns out. Actually, one thing I could do is um, cut a lamp or something. Or a door. They're, they're tend to be, the doors are long. What's the lamp? Ah, the lamp I want because if that is an aurora, I don't want to lose that lamp. What about the radio? 30 minutes for two? I think that's not bad. We want the radio to stay. Metal table is insane. Yeah, for two? 30 minutes for two sounds good. Uh... Let's do it. It's broken anyway, so. Nice. How much is this? It's 45 minutes for two, right? Yeah, so that was great. That broken metal thing was, broken metal object was very e efficient. 15 minutes for a scrap is really nice. Um, no more broken metal objects in here. This is almost searched, yeah. Can't do the telephone. Chairs can be done, but. At great expense. Some carts you can do, but others not. So you always wonder, right, is there something back there? If I were to spend the, like 50 hours breaking down all those boxes, would I get something out of it? I think the answer is no. Maybe on a different mode. What's this? Can I do the TV? No. Nothing there. There's a door. 45 minutes. I guess I'm being cheap. 45 minutes is probably just fine. But anyway, we got two of them. Let's do the other um, air shafts. 40 minutes. Nice. 
Let's do... Let's do the door. Okay, that got dark. Whoa. Okay, at least I'm in my room here. Let's eat dinner. Okay, wait. And when it's this dark, see... I, how, how long is it to repair this thing? 45 minutes? I'm going to gamble on it. Oh, 25% repair, that's all. Ooh, that's not great. Let's go again. 45 minutes. Does it let you do it after dark? That's the million dollar question. Or it probably not. It's probably you can't see the dark thing. That was all I got out of that meat. Huh. Okay. And that thing came down a little bit, too. Um, oh, that's nice. Look at that. So I need three per. So it's three times that. It's 96 feathers. So yeah, way short on feathers, but uh, those are fairly easy to come by, ultimately. But not that easy. But you get them back when you break arrows down, so there's a recycling component. Um, okay, I was going to repair that, what else was I going to repair? Um, why, why am I, I'm blanking on this, I thought there was another thing I wanted to repair, there's two hacksaws, I think 45 minutes will, well what I can do is, let's sleep an hour, let's make it, make it dark. mini mini wind out there oh heck it was a blizzard uh let's let's try no can't do it in the dark yeah so there you go let's whetstone this up although strategy wise ultimately the whetstones are best for travel so it's sort of like when you go traveling you want to have that and a whetstone ultimately i should be taking one of these down to zero because i have a spare knife now there's a spare knife back at the uh at the, at the base. So there's one knife I'll keep topped up, and that'll be my travel knife, and then there's like a work knife, work around ho house knife kind of thing, so. Um, okay, well, there it is. So without knowing which knife is which, I think we'll wait till we get back and make a decision on that. So I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's sleep then, guys. Let's do the big sleep here. We'll go into the morning and hopefully get a mag lens. Because I'm cheap like that. Let's do the four hours. It's nice to be in the, the dam, though. It's nice to have had a cabin fever defeat day. That's for sure. I mean, we'll pl probably spend a night in Winding River next. Maybe not, though. It might be the cave on the PV side. We'll see how it goes, but... We'll take it slow. Get that blizzard over with. Not that it matters, but I do want to get a magfire. Bad. Not quite done, and we're fully rested, so... Um... There's the windows. Let's go just peek outside. Oh gosh, look at this. Pre-bliss. And we're, we're gonna be... Ah, oh, we're okay for food. Let's... Wow. Nasty morning, but it's... Maybe get it over with now, right? We'll do some repairs and stuff. Anyway, guys, yeah, we're over time, I think, so we're very close to. So let's go inside. We'll get a save point. This feels very familiar. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a huge pleasure, and I'll catch you next time.